Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving an exponential equation. We have 3 to the power x equals 5 to the power x squared plus 3x. And we're going to be solving for x values. I'll be presenting two methods and also at the end I'm going to show you a graph which I find fairly interesting. Let's start with the second method. For my second method, I'm going to factor the expo exponent of the second one. So I'm going to write this as 5 to the power x times x plus 3. Here, I think it's kind of easy to see that x equals 0 will be a solution. Because if x is equal to 0, then we get 3 to the power 0 equals 5 to the power 0, which is of course true, right? Because they're both equal to 1. So, first of all, x equals 0 satisfies this equation, therefore it's a solution. Now, we're going to find the other solution. Is there another solution? Wait a minute. Are there... Uh, how many solutions are there? We don't know, but we're going to find out. All right, so... Let's assume that x does not equal 0. If x does not equal 0, then we can do the following. Raise both sides to the power 1 over x, right? And that's actually going to be helpful. We're going to get rid of x, in other words. You can definitely just cancel out the x's, you know, even though it's not very rigorous or technical, you can definitely do that. But it's the same thing. x cancels out, and we end up, by the way, this is going to be a 1 over x, not x. We end up with the following. 3 to the power 1, which is 3, equals 5 to the power x plus 3. Great. So, why is this great? Well, we only have a variable on one side. We can easily isolate that, right? So, one of the, thing, one of the things we can do is we can break down this into 5 to the x times 5 to the third, and that is equal to 3, just putting the 3 on the right-hand side. And then divide both sides by this number, which is 125. And this gives us 5 to the power x equals 3 over 125. Fairly easy, right? All we have to do is take logs. It could be log, like base 10, or just a natural log ln. Doesn't matter. But I'm going to use ln, and I want to be consistent, so I'm going to be using ln for both methods. All right. So let's go ahead and ln both sides. Obviously, you can also use base 5, but I don't want to use that. Okay, so let's move the x to the front. We're going to get x times ln 5 equals ln 3 over 125. We can use the quotient rule here. Remember, if you have ln a over b, it can be written as ln a minus ln b. Remember that? So we can write this as ln 3 minus ln 125. And then we can divide both sides by ln 5 to get the answer. So the answer is going to be ln3 minus ln125 all over ln5. So we can simplify this a little bit, like 125 is 5 to the third power. Using the cube, we can kind of simplify a little bit, kind of write, write this like ln3 minus ln5 cubed. And then using the power property, we can actually move this 3 to the front, and that's going to become 3 times ln5. So let's rewrite it, x equals ln3 minus 3 ln 5 divided by ln 5. All right, great. So that is the other solution. And remember, our first solution was x equals 0. Therefore, there are two solutions to this equation. And these are the solutions. How do we know there are no other solutions? Well, first of all, we eliminated the case x equals 0. It works because um, 1 equals 1. And then the second case just comes from a basic exponential equation. As you know, 5 to the power x is an increasing function. It's going to intersect a horizontal line at a single point. So there are only two solutions. Let's go ahead and take a look at the first method now. Because we did the second method first, right? So first method, I don't know which one you're going to find nicer, but it starts off with the same equation, of course. Let's go back to the original. Now, instead of trying to break down the x, you know, I can just ln both sides directly. Whenever you have a variable or variables in the exponent, ln or logging both sides is always a good idea, almost always. Maybe always. I don't know. So let's just ln both sides. And then let's move the powers. So we have, this is a power, that's another power. We can go ahead and move these to the front, you know, pro using power properties. This gives us x times ln3 equals 
x squared plus 3x times ln 5. Awesome. What am I going to do with this? Well, here's the thing. We're going to go ahead and, you know, kind of distribute this and put it together in some uh, form uh, so we can factor it. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to write x ln 3 equals x squared ln 5 plus 3x ln 5. So in an effort to factor this, let's go ahead and put everything on the same side. x ln 3 minus x squared ln 5 minus 3x ln 5 equals 0. We could definitely put the x, uh, we could keep the x squared plus 3x together, but that's not what I want to do. I want to take out an x, you know, I want to take an x out of this expression. Why? Because that's going to give us one of the solutions as before. So let's go ahead and take out x. Uh, we're going to get ln 3 inside minus x ln 5 minus 3 ln 5. Great. And that's equal to 0. Now using zero product property, which I've think as a real weird name, but anyways, uh, we get x equals 0. Because if x is 0, this is going to work, so x equals 0 is a valid solution. And the other solution basically comes from the other factor by setting that equal to 0. So let's go ahead and set the second factor equal to 0. And from here, since I'm trying to solve for x, it makes sense if I get the x term on one side and everything else on the other side. So let's go ahead and put x ln 5 on the right hand side and write it on the left hand side and then put the left hand side on the right hand side. So kind of like this. Hopefully that makes sense. Hopefully that's not confusing. Anyways, we could also keep the um, x ln 5 on the right hand side, but I just like keeping it on the left hand side. Anyways, divide both sides by ln 5 and you'll get the answer. All right. So this gives us x equals ln 3 minus 3 ln 5 divided by ln 5. Now, uh, we get this simplified solution right away without getting into the 125 because uh, we have a 3 here and we didn't really uh, raise 5 to the third. Anyways, so we got the same answer as before, right? That's the same one. And obviously, x equals 0 is the other solution. We got two solutions again. But let's go ahead and take a look at the graph. By the way, uh, one thing you should keep uh, in mind if you're solving a log equation, um, the argument must be greater than zero. But in this case, we're solving an exponential, so that should be fine. And the bases are positive, so it makes it even better. Because when the base is negative, it's just a weird uh, expression. So let's go ahead and take a look at the graph real quick. The graph of two functions I graphed for you, y equals 3 to the x. Now, 3 to the x is kind of like not very interesting, right? It's just an exponential. It's just increasing. But look at the other one. Isn't that really beautiful? Like we have 5 to the power x squared plus 3x. So it kind of has like a, I, I wouldn't say it's, I wouldn't call it a parabola, but it has a curvy feature. That is kind of interesting. And do you think that's symmetrical with respect to a certain number? Uh, but you can definitely differentiate it, set it equal to 0, find the minimum or maximum point, so on and so forth. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.